Welcome to the Melodyne Editor Tour about working with the correct pitch macro. Here you will learn how you can correct out of tune notes or unwanted wavering in pitch quickly and easily with the correct pitch macro. Correcting less than perfect intonation of vocals is a prime use case for Melodyne Editor. Therefore, we have a vocal take as an example. When looking at the stars, she feels a sea of happiness. Select the notes you wish to edit. If no notes are selected, macro editing will by default affect all notes. To open the correct pitch macro, click on its bottom in the top right corner of the window. With the upper slider, you can move the pitch center of your selection anywhere from 0 to 100% closer to the nearest semitone. The processes involved are no different in principle whether intonation is corrected automatically with the correct pitch macro or by hand with the pitch tool. With the lower slider, you can progressively reduce the amount of pitch drift exhibited by the notes in question. By pitch drift, we mean slow wavering in pitch and the parameter affected is the same as that governed by the pitch drift tool. More rapid fluctuations in pitch, such as pitch modulation or vibrato, remain unaffected. By default, notes that have been tuned manually are not affected by the macro. Take a look at this note here, which has been moved by hand before. We pin this blob down because with this note, the pitch curve is the important thing and not the blob placement. If it would be corrected by the macro, the important part of the pitch curve would be placed too high. When working with music, always trust your ears and not your eyes. If you wish the manually edited notes also to be affected, check Include Notes Already Edited Manually. Now the blob reacts to the intensity sliders like the others. Exit with OK to keep your changes or cancel to discard them. Of course, you can still fine-tune your notes manually after you have used the macro. If you select a note that has already been edited using the macro, and then open the macro again, the settings previously applied to it will be displayed. If the current selection includes notes to which different settings have been applied, a mean value for each parameter will be displayed. Even after exiting with OK, you can still reverse the effects of the macro editing by using the undo function. Here you have learned how the correct pitch macro is used to correct the pitch center and pitch drift of notes. Just hit pause in your video player if you need more time to read this.